Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Legacies of Cain. Uh, yes, I know we've been kind of uh, switching off between Records of Evil and Legacies of Cain for the past couple of weeks, but we are hoping to eventually get both of them uh, together um, on one day. Uh, as soon as, like, the schedules for everybody work on it. But for now, we have a new player. Their name, their character name will appear above them probably next week because uh, I forgot about that until, like, five minutes ago, and I probably could have actually set that up. Huh. Also, I'd have to look up their character name. Because <laughs> remember me. Emil. Emil. Okay. Oh, man. I was hoping it was going to be either Marie or Frederico or <laughs> Beckett or Aristotle or Francisco. You know what's actually really funny and I didn't even really think about until just now? Uh, uh, <laughs> it, I'll tell you guys on break. How did I get <laughs> this... I keep doing this. I keep, like, getting these reversed somehow. <laughs> no, that's not correct. I don't know how I've been doing it today, but it's just been, like, all the reversals every time I try to edit something. You appear to have a lime on screen. A, a lime E. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but dump Bump. Lime E. No, I like oh. lime -y. Nope. It was backwards. Mm -hmm. I, honestly, I liked it better that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I understand. It was, it was, it was limb three. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> limb three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, for, sure. For, you know that third limb. That third limb that you what we don't have. Anyway, is, is Dawn's little bubblegum Viking gonna go up there? Cause it's black right now. I know. I could put it up there. I was just leaving it. I guess I could put our little Viking up there. I guess I could actually do some extra work. Anyway, hey, yeah, uh, welcome. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so, yeah, uh, welcome. Uh, we have, a, of course, a new person, uh, Diamond Worm here, who is playing Emil. Uh, we'll have him introduced in today's adventure. Um, other than that, you know, it's back to the normal. Uh, finding out what to do next, because that seems to be a normal thing. Uh, for for your crew, figuring out what new and horrible thing to go on adventures with uh, this week. Uh, so why don't we start with, of course, uh, how are Dawn and Nathan doing right now? How do you think you two are doing after everything that's happened and possibly losing another friend? Well, after my previous night's orgy, uh, I am <laughs> finally feeling full because I had, uh, I think, one or maybe two blood points left yesterday. Mm -hmm. So... I'm feeling great. Mm -hmm. uh, I am very, very saddened by the loss of poor Leslie. Mm -hmm. But I didn't Leslie. die, mm -hmm. and neither did Dawn. <laughs> mm -hmm. And theoretically, we can still go find uh, Samuel somewhere. Mm -hmm. And Lars is still building uh, Wick's little car. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yep. And, and, uh, and Leslie might not be dead, just lost and buried under rocks somewhere. Well, I mean, yeah, technically. Mm -hmm. But, but, I mean... And you can always go try to find out. Eric. He'd be wonderful no. to get back. <laughs> no, we, we, we don't need to go find Eric. He's doing fine. I miss Eric. I don't. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing fine. He's found some uh, some mental hospital to, to enjoy. Mm -hmm. the, the various tastes mm -hmm. that, that he... Uh, otherwise, we need to figure out where uh, Samuel Beckett is. Mm -hmm. Or was it Caduceus Beckett? I don't know. Uh, Cuthbert Beckett. Oh, yeah, Cuthbert Beckett. Yeah. Or just go uh, by Beckett. And, and the one lead you have is the one that's easier to find is not a great lead. It's Marie, the uh, SS. She was a vampire hunter. That was yeah. working for the Nazis that was turned into a vampire. Because yeah, that's that's great. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a thing that exists that you might have to deal with. <clears throat> <clears throat> or alternatively, alternatively, we can go find Aristotle, mm -hmm. uh, who is another nodist that uh, our previous employer put us onto. Yeah. Uh, so that certainly wouldn't be strange at all. Uh, and then we also have that whole Federico Francisco thing, where one of them is the one that killed the. Uh, previous Prince of New York, and the other one was the uh, Sheriff of New York who failed to protect that Prince. 
It depends on if you're going for... The cup. The or... cup itself, or information that might help you understand what these cups mean. Right. So, um, as you're kind of pondering away, you do get a message from Charles. Uh, a very rude message, uh, but a message nonetheless that says that the prince uh, is looking for you to come in. Uh, she has some information for you. Oh, well, that's a nice start. Hey, Dawn. Yeah. Ready for a trip? Oh, uh, is someone going to die again? At the moment, a short trip to the prince, so hopefully not. Oh, then I'm in. Unless it's Charles. Fucking hate Charles. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you do, too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll we'll go. Okay. Once again, you, of course, will run into Charles oh, at the oh, uh, desk. Oh, Don, would you like uh, a cake? A cake? A cape. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I, whoever I'm hanging out with, I have, like, a matching outfit with them. It's great. <laughs> and you're both going in capes. Yes. Hell yeah. I'm uh, always in a cape. You, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the snazzy, like, old-timey villain. I'm, I'm guessing, like, cane, top hat, cape all the time. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I have extras in my trunk. Yep. Anyway. So, uh... Charles will kind of give you this sneer and be like, she's waiting for you upstairs. You didn't bring that filthy little man with you again, did you? I hope you left him at home. Uh, no, we're leaving you here at the desk. Thank you. <laughs> Heading up. I see that's like the... <laughs> Ooh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... This time, uh, you're coming pretty early in the evening, and uh, it looks as though there is a small uh, group of people there. Um, Helena seems to be not at her normal kind of desk that she usually she kind of meets you with when she's uh, conducting business. She seems to be off to the a little side area of the chamber where there was a um, setup of a um, you know little table around with some chairs around it, so it's a little bit more formal thing where she seems to have been discussing some things. Um, there seems to be a... The sheriff, of course, is there kind of standing back, looking big, mean, tough, non-talkative. Uh, but there's another person that you don't recognize that you can assume is maybe security um, also behind her. Oh! Ah! Nathan! Excellent! Uh, yes! Good, excellent. Um, I'm sorry, but... Uh, I, I felt that with the... Untimely loss of your um, compatriot, Leslie. It, hopefully, we'll mm. be able to find him intact. But if not, um, I felt that assigning someone else to assist you would be prudent. Uh, I greatly appreciate that, my uh, Yes. Uh, Emil, it's enough standing around for now. Uh, thank you for waiting with us. These are the ones I talked to you that I'd be bringing to meet with you. If you help them out, and Nathan, report how much... Emil here helps you. Uh, of course. Yes. If you help them out, then everything will be square with us. Very well. Excellent. Well, uh, if you three wouldn't mind, we are getting, conducting some important business in the town here. Excellent. <clears throat> There's some repairs to some sewer and some cleanup that needs to be done, thanks to your recent escapades. Indeed. And they'll go back to work, whether they're good. All right. Shall we? I step forward. Hold out my hand. I'm in. Uh, she's dismissed us. We need to leave first. <laughs> I nod at that. No. <laughs> Move out with you guys. If you'd offered it to Dawn, Dawn would have shaken your hand. Yes, yeah, she would have. Yes, I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So after we get out and close the door... Then I'll hold out my hand again. Nathan. Nice to meet you, Emil. Why don't, Emil, you start with a quick description of yourself, and then we'll have Nathan and Don each give quick descriptions of yourself so that you get everybody, you know, with the new person gets an idea of character appearances, as they are currently. Yes. So, um, I am wearing, 
honestly like cargo pants and just a, like a, a crew neck shirt, you know, just kind of plain black. Um, tan cargo shorts, and I appear to wearing boots. Um, and I'm decently big. I'm six six feet tall with a uh, short brown hair and uh, white, Caucasian, um, and I am, yeah, I'm decently um, muscular, um, looks like I do lifting weights, something like too dramatic though. Okay. Uh, Nathan. Uh, how old do you, how old do you appear? Oh, that's a good point. Oh, uh, how old? <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't think about that one. Um, it's a good thing to think about, which sometimes you forget about. Yeah, I, I appear probably in my 30s. And okay. Nathan, how about you grant, grant a description of yourself here? So he has an idea of whose hand he's shaking. Okay, so you're probably put off a, at least a little bit because I appear to be a classic horror movie vampire. Top hat, red velvet inner cape, black outer cape, suit with, like, ruffles and stuff. Like, old-timey gentleman, but also very pale with fangs. And, uh... And otherwise, I look like kind of a... an elderly man, but not old. So, like, late 40s, 50s, maybe early 60s? Um, and of course, I have a cane, and... Dawn also has a matching cape and top hat and cane if she wishes. <laughs> uh, it's a little dressed up for right now. Maybe later, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, how's Dawn looking here? I also had to go back and check her age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I am also fairly slender and not particularly buff. Yeah, classic vampire. Yep. <laughs> Dawn is... 25, and she has... Oh, I forgot what it's called. The Blush of Hell? Yes. So she looks pretty human. Mm -hmm. But, uh, she's pretty... She's like, you know, she's 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, brown hair. I actually have that person. I actually have that as well, so I also look pretty... You both human. look really ah. human. But can you eat food? Because I can eat food. I technically can, but you don't know that yet. <laughs> you both went that route. Right. <laughs> I technically can too. <laughs> Just you violently it's throw it up afterwards. Dawn. Yeah. It's two dawns now. The two dawns are gonna dress the same, you know. <laughs> yeah, she's she she doesn't look like very much to look at, but if she hits you, you'll know. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty much. Dawn's is is she wearing one of the nice dresses that I've gotten her over the last like? Several months. Oh no, she's in track pants and a hoodie and a cape. <laughs> she's <laughs> gone after that adventure. It just it doesn't really fit, but it looks it's a matching cape to like, you know. Seems... She was offered the cape, she's not gonna say no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Emil gives you guys uh kind of a sideways <laughs> glance, like what is their guy which is what these guys get up? <laughs> and then I just quickly and then I shrug. <laughs> <laughs> Kids they, these days. They're probably not the weirdest people you've seen, but then again, maybe. Well, but that's only because you've been to conventions before. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I mean, to be fair, though, I don't know. I feel like Don is definitely on the stranger side. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, at least Nathan's outfit makes sense. Oh, yeah. Dawn wasn't a functional human being, let alone a vampire. <laughs> yep. Anyway, um, the, there's, you know, as usual, there's a couple of guards there that are just kind of, like, eyeing you up and, like, yeah, you can get going from this, like, small lobby area. <laughs> yeah. uh, Charles is getting ready to Do you have here. your own transportation, or would you like to join us? I assure you, anything you've heard about our previous companions, I have had the car very thoroughly cleaned since then. <laughs> you've heard nothing Raising about the previous eyebrow. companions. <laughs> um, I, I can travel with you. That should be fine. Excellent. 
uh, Nathan, as you guys leave, he's going to very surreptitiously flick off Charles and uh, <laughs> head out the door. And there is a black, like, nice town car waiting. John, you're still a better driver than I am, aren't you? Oh, no. Are you I'm sure? I'm the worst. I'm the worst, yeah. I don't have a single thing. It was, it was, uh... That's right, I did put a point in drive. Alright, yeah. <laughs> then I will get in the driver's door. <laughs> That's a good idea, don't let me drive. <laughs> Leslie, Leslie would do some driving. That's right. And Samuel tried. Samuel could. Yeah. Hey, he think... got away from the police. <laughs> he did, <laughs> but he, he did also, he did also maul the police with the badgers, so... <laughs> well, I mean, you win some, you lose some. Mm-hmm. We won both of those. Yeah. Technically. So, uh, <laughs> nice town car. Flush leather seats, very, very upscale. I, uh... I mean, I do my car. I have a few gestures. And... Uh, would you like a cape? I'm fine. <laughs> Don, tell them how useful the capes are. They are really useful. <laughs> would literally be dead if it wasn't for the capes. Do they have a magical property? No. It's really good yeah, for throwing at people. It's similar to towels. Mm, yeah. If you've read I that novel. See. I'm good. Alright. Well, if we have to climb out any windows, you can't go down our ladder. <laughs> <laughs> climb out of a window. <laughs> We've had to jump on so many uh, and on that note, I'll pull out. <laughs> you guys never climb out of anything. It's jump first and ask questions yeah. later. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> all right. Uh, so traffic will be easy. Heading back to, uh, I'm assuming you're heading back to the gym. To the gym? Yeah. yeah. So after, as we're driving, though, I'm gonna ask. So, uh, what is our mission? I wasn't really briefed on any of that. Oh, uh, you know, just finding some dinnerware, um, l learning about uh, history, that kind of thing. So, nothing pressing? Uh, fairly pressing. Not as pressing as the Awakening of Simiche, though. So, we took care of that first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, hear that and you're like, What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just like, I mean, I mean uh, just think we're okay. crazy and lying. I mean, I guess for all he knows, I could be Volcavian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just have a really bad sense of humor. <laughs> you know, I probably have that opinion at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I did suggest the cloak. That's true. Oh, man. <laughs> Just the cloak, you've been kind of, uh, you know, <clears throat> nonsensical. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Mm hmm. So, well, they... I mean, it only seems nonsensical to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> but... Oh. All right, so, uh, any other questions? None for now. All right. Uh, excellent. We'll introduce you to Candy, Ryan, and the gym. Mm -hmm. uh, do you enjoy the more visceral pleasures? I shrug. Not necessarily uh, my cup of tea. All right. Uh, do you have any uh, feeding requirements that might be good to know about before they become problems? Out of character. Would I? Do I? <laughs> um, no. No, you wouldn't. I, okay, I just don't know if, like, you know, whatever does something or blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, no, For example, no, I, I, have, uh, I have some specific tastes. Uh, Dawn is... Mm, messy? Messy. And a previous person wasn't forthright with his uh, blood needs, and unfortunately we had to deal with that issue. Yeah. 
separately. I take it where I can get it. All right. Are you discreet with your feeding? Because if you are, then you are welcome to uh, my herd while we are working together. That would be uh, appreciated. All right. Well, then let me introduce you to my herd. <laughs> you stop at a large gym. Uh, I forget where we said you were in, in, in New York. I don't remember it. Uh, I think it was like Queens? Queens. That sounds about right. Like, it's it's not a great place, but the gym is pretty nice, and mm -hmm. it's in a really nice area of a not pretty nice place. Yeah. It's the better part of Queens. Yeah. Mm hmm There's always a better part of any city. <laughs> any mm -hmm. area of the city. That's what you're in right now. Um, yeah. Even at this time of night, it's pretty busy. Um, so, that's the best I can say yep. about it right off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, as we walk in and towards a bank of nice looking elevators uh, you notice that they're, each person in the gym is working on equipment and seems to have their own personal trainer who, is, who are some manner of young nubile and uh, very attractive either male or female paying right. very close attention to them mm -hmm. almost handsy you might say If you need any assistance working out, you are welcome to use the facilities as well. Um, usually they're membership only, however. Yes. Well, this would be nice. I guess I'll uh, come here for my daily workout instead of uh, the other gym I found. Uh, I have to cancel my membership. Spot that too. <laughs> Well, if you if you find the equipment there better, you are welcome to use it. All right, up the right. As, as you get up the elevator towards where the offices are, uh, you run into Candy. Nice and honey. Oh, it's it's time. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta run out. There's some business to take care of uh, with the new Manhattan branch. I know we've been working on getting that set up. Oh. Um. Anyway. Uh, Excellent. Oh, you got a new friend here? Is he also yes. got the horrible skin conditions, too? Yes, unfortunately he does. Oh. Um, Where's Leslie? Uh, he, uh, Leslie is otherwise occupied. He is going away to take care of something else much more pressing than oh, anything oh, we're taking like care of. Like that Eric boy who, who left and came back home. I haven't had a chance to meet up with him. We should we should get hmm. together for lunch sometime. Oh, yep. you're a night man. Late, late. Midnight sees. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I gotta run, honey. He's, she's gonna kind of like uh, kiss you on the cheek and then run off. Can, Candy, this is this is a meal. If you could uh, have someone take care of paperwork for him for a member. Sure, of course, me. of course. I'll all contact right. all the right people. Excellent. You are fantastic, Candy. Thank you very much. All right, elevator doors are closed. There. All right. Offices. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so we'll go to the go go to one of the offices. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, hey, ah, uh, hi, ah. Uh, you told me to wait here, right? Yep. Thank you uh, very much, Ryan. Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I almost got this Rubik's cube solved. Uh, it's uh, a little bit more trouble than I thought it would be worth. Mm. Well, so as not to surprise you, we have someone new with us. Oh! His name is Emil. Oh, hello there. Uh, name's Ryan. Um, so, uh, in case you are wondering, uh, I am not one of your, uh, blood-sucky kindred friends. Uh, I am a Samasa. Um, yep. I work here I with, uh... for Samasa. Is that a ghoul? Uh, no, no. Uh, I am, uh, a, a, a giant cockroach monster. Mm-hmm. He's not getting. Does kidding. he look like a giant cockroach monster? Oh, I can try. I, I'm like a werewolf, only with a cockroach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, the bullet holes feeling better, right? Oh yeah, yeah. These things uh heal up pretty uh quickly if I'm uh if I'm uh concentrating on it. Uh, Excellent. Again, like you know, uh, yeah, from what I hear, uh, the uh, the garu. The uh, werewolves, uh, uh, they do a lot of the same thing, too. Don't try shooting them a lot. They'll just keep healing up. 
Uh, fortunately for me, uh, you know, if I uh, if I uh, concentrate on it correctly, I can get the same thing done. I had to be um, your couch is a little ruined there. I had to be all big and uh, roachy for a while though. Don't worry about it, Ryan. I am much happier to have you in good condition than the couch. Oh, oh thank you. I've been feeling so great here. The great Lord Cockroach mm -hmm. has been reassuring me that uh, my confidence is built in. I haven't, I haven't sold myself in a week. Wow. I know. That is impressive. Oh, yeah. The voices are still going, but uh, I think that's normal. Hmm. Yeah. It seems like it would. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How how is the uh, great Lord Cockroach doing? Oh, Has just fine, any, thank you. Any ideas for you or suggestions for us? Uh, currently he hasn't said anything about anything, but uh, we've just been chatting daily life. Uh, you know, hmm? uh, I I've been trying to keep in contact with Sarah. You know, uh, we're hoping to one day have a little brood of our own. Oh, well, if she needs a job. <laughs> oh. oh. You're a kidder. You got some great jobs here uh, for some various things, but I don't know if her uh, her type would be kind of welcome in your uh, field of work here. Uh, that, that wasn't what I was referring to. I was thinking more more the clerical uh, oh. administrative tasks. Oh, with, with uh, Miss uh, Candy there. She's a nice yes. lady. You know, she um, is. She offers a lot of things that I'm really awkward about uh, getting in there with, but uh, she keeps offering them. Well, that's I mean that's part of her job. Oh, well, anyway, uh, so, uh, what you say your name was there, Bub? I'm Emil. Oh, oh, hello, uh, Ryan, um, so, uh, you know, uh, welcome to the club. Uh, you know, um, did you, were you granted spiritual quest by a, har a horrible monstrosity of an insect spirit? Not quite. Uh, well, that's kind of why I'm here. Uh, apparently, Great Lord Cockroach thinks these, uh, folks are... Uh, dealing with some things that are a little dangerous for uh, the overall world and should have someone here to help him out. Turns out he was right! <laughs> mm hmm. Interesting. Um. <clears throat> so, who has a preference? Dinnerware or the land of sleep? Hmm. What is the land of sleep? Aha! We have a decision made. <clears throat> Excellent. Now we need to make another... Damn it. <laughs> so... That face uh, was in character. <laughs> <clears throat> we need to learn more about um, the, the dinnerware that we're trying to find. And so we need to find a preeminent nodist. We have two leads. Either, uh, could Churchill, damn it, what's his name? Cuthbert. Cuthbert Beckett, um, who is a gangrel, and we have the information that if we can find his spawn, <coughs> Marie, she will be able to find him if we can convince her to do so and also <clears throat> not kill us. Uh, as she is, a, or was at least, a vampire hunter. And a Nazi. And also a Nazi. Well, Alternatively, we can make inquiries about Aristotle de Laurent, who is also a well known Nazist. Uh, the downside for him is he is a Mulcahy. I've not had good experiences with Malkavians. Are you not one yourself? I am not one myself. We'll make what would make you think um, that? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> well... Personally, I'd, I'd go with the Gangrel. They're my clan, after all, so... Huh. Excellent. Well then, shall we go off in search of Marie? Dawn? Uh, okay. 
All right. Okay, now r please remind me what we know about Marie <laughs> and, and about where to find her. All right. Well, I had this prepared. So, uh, Marie. Um, she, as far as you know, travels, um, which is an unfortunate thing for you that, you know, you're not sure of her ex where she'll be. exact um, location. But as far as you've probably been able to find out, you think that um, she may have her <clears throat> haven somewhere in Germany. Mm. So basically like a, a home base in Germany. Okay. All right. Well. Beyond that, you haven't acquired much, especially since you don't have your information gatherer anymore. So. Yes, indeed. <sighs> well, I suppose we could look for. I'm Sandra. not bad at that, but you guys don't know that. <laughs> well, um, so far, what we know about Marie is that uh, she's German, and. Presumably, her haven would be somewhere in Germany. I see. Hmm. Huh. I do very much wish Samuel were, uh... not otherwise occupied. I miss him. I'm curious, uh, Emil... Have you heard of the Kai Institute? Have I heard of the Kai Institute, Tantus? Not at all. Um, you roll me action and called intelligence. You might not even know what a nodist is. Let's leave it at. Let's figure out <laughs> that if you know that much. That's not too difficult. Uh, you should be able to set it up on your character sheet. Um, oh, Uh, difficulty? Just about six. Six is fine. Okay. Three success. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you have an idea of what, both what a nodist is and what they do. You know a little bit about them. Um, you probably may have written... You may have even, like, read an excerpt of the Book of Nod. The Book of Nod is like the Vampire Bible, is the best way to describe it. Um, it's supposed okay. to be a very old book that describes... Cain and his history and the creation of all the clans and things like that. Uh, it's very steeped in legend and it's hard to tell how much of it's actually correct. You know that Nodists are people that study that from historical and are trying to find what the truth is in amongst all the stuff. Um, you would probably also know that it is... <sighs> vampires in most modern vampire society range from dislike of the information, like the Sabbat believes that they should murder all the elders and basically simulate their power for their own, you know, crazy twist of things. The Camarilla, which are just like, mm, nope, it's not true. And, and plenty of members of the camera, and then like others that are just like, maybe, I don't really care. You know, that's, there are very few that actually believe it and care a lot. Most of the time those are elders because they claim they know what's going on, being old enough to do it. <laughs> um, so basically it's those uh, vampire bible thumpers because yeah. so you asked me do I know what the Nautilus is right mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, so that's my answer sure Sure, it's... Uh, so far, the the ones we've had experience with have been more on the, the researchy side rather than the uh, the zealotry side. Oh, that's good. Um, I very much agree. <laughs> All right. Um, and the uh, Kai Institute? 
Uh, those are the Tantus. You said those are people who are doing the research? No, those are the Nautists. No. You, those are the Nautists. Uh, the yeah. like High Institute, you probably have never heard of. Okay. Uh, that's, um, that's totally fair. <laughs> actually, no. You could roll something to know it. Leave me a second here to figure they're, it out. They're a company, aren't they? Yeah, They've they're a company. Holdings. So, um, probably intelligence finance i would say um <laughs> yeah question are there uh untrained penalties uh i can't there are in, there are in certain many. circumstances yes um okay. this one i will say no because it's like this is they do do public holdings and stuff like that so you could have heard it in a retrospect of just reading up on some news kind of thing and difficulty six or higher? Um, seven for this one. They're a smaller company, but not super small. Yeah, you've nope. never heard of them. <clears throat> All uh, right. Yeah, I, do not, I <clears throat> haven't heard of them before. Well, if you happen to hear anything, please let us know because they are a giant pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. I see. Also, they might or might not be in possession of one of our previous compatriots. I see. Hmm. Unfortunately, he was the one who did a lot of our research, as he was very familiar with computers uh, being so young and new to this stuff. Uh, I, sadly, am more familiar with a type I am uh, relatively familiar with computers as well, so if you need any help, need any uh, tech support, let me know. Excellent. Well, my phone keeps resetting. However, uh, I think that's probably something Samuel set up, so I don't think it's a problem. Um, perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps you could <laughs> look into uh, Marie for us. As Jeeves has no idea where she is. Oof. Unfortunately, that's not something that would be easier computer searched, I would say. If you're looking for a vampire... No, unless... I know, I know. Like I, I... Oh, Also, I do have a effectively a satchel as well. Mm. I probably should have clarified that. Because yep. I'd be carrying kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nosferatu have access to their vampire internet. Most others do not. So. Yeah. No. I figure. I figure. I don't. <laughs> I know it's not that simple. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. yeah. Because vampire Reddit no. is horrifying. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Be glad you haven't been on there in a while, because it just yeah. got worse for a while there. Yeah. Oh no. Bet it did. Woo! But yeah, uh, I, got, I give my satchel a little pat. Yeah, I, uh... I carry my computer around most everywhere, so... Alright, well, if you would be so kind as to look into Marie, and where we might be able to find her a little more specifically than a country, uh, that would be excellent. Or perhaps uh, who we could contact to get in contact with her, or... But something of that nature. Well, I mean, that's not something easily dug up, but I could try. Uh, I'll do that later, though. I'll have to. That'll take a while. Mm -hmm. I assume we are. Although. You said this person we're trying to find is in Germany? Uh, we don't know where she is, which is why we're trying to locate her. It's that her, her home base, so to speak, would presumably be in Germany, as that is where she is from. I see. You don't happen to know German, do you? I do not. Ryan? Uh, what? Uh... 
Do you know German? A little bit. Don? <laughs> I could uh, get by in some basic conversation. Mm. All right. I think <clears throat> perhaps a bit more subtlety might be required. Um. Hmm. No, perhaps we'll have as as good luck finding a translator as we did in. Uh, uh, that is a question. Like, what year is this? Like, what what our year? Like, uh, actually, okay. I think with I how things have, yeah, actually, no, we could say it's probably around what it is now because we started like when we started. I had us like pretty close to the exact same date, but with like the break and all, I think that's pushed us enough forward with like the breaks in your own time that I think it actually works pretty okay. well. Where we've kind of no, caught up. I, I was yeah. more. I was just more making sure I had, like, because I probably have like a smartphone and stuff. I actually oh, yeah. have dots and resources, so I, 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 I can reliably say I have like a computer and a smartphone and stuff like that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I say, pulling out my phone. Uh, I could probably just. I mean, if you just need to speak it, I. Could do it. There's probably a translator out for that. Usually, translator apps are imperfect, in my experience. I think Samuel put one on my phone, and they just don't have the nuance of conversation that a person does. No, they don't. That would be a little bit hard to. Yes, yeah, it's. I'm I'm a little bit upset with the natural language processing that most computers have nowadays. I feel like it can use some major improvement. I just realized I'm a computer scientist playing someone who's a computer scientist. <laughs> sure. Yes, that sounds. I'm gonna. That I have terminology. Great. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds great. Um. But translation apps I don't believe will function as I need very well well the last person we hired as a translator did great mm-hmm that's exactly well, for him not so great <sighs> well, we yeah. just need to find the right people yeah and really having it, it seems that finding someone local seems to work out well for us. Mm. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, it seems... They, you know, they know the nuances of where they live. Mm -hmm. We didn't find anyone in Kazakhstan, and look how that turned out. <sighs> I don't possibly know what you mean. Everything is fine, everything is okay. Right, so... Uh, if you would be so kind as to begin inquiries in that direction, uh, I will procure us travel to Germany. Okay. Very well. Uh, when would you like to leave? Well, how long do you need to uh, begin the inquiries, and do you have a span of travel time in between that would work well for you? I mean... I can get us tickets whenever I need them. Very well. Uh, I'll have to... I have no idea how long finding this person will take. Um, are they... Yes, that will be a task. A significant one, especially since it's vampire-related, and that is notoriously difficult to deal with over the web. Fair enough. If Wi-Fi is all you require, then uh, we can just take a jet that has Wi-Fi. Should be fine. All right. Excellent. Uh, we could leave uh, later this evening and uh, fly through the day, or we could... Let's, let's, tomorrow or yeah, I'd probably say tomorrow or the day after would be preferable. All right. 
the day after then. If that is preferable. Hang on. Uh, I will take care of it. Oh, uh, you want me to brush up on my uh, German there? Sure thing. Okay. That would mm. be very helpful for, uh, at the very tag. least, introductions. Guten, guten Tag. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, uh, wouldn't it be, uh, I guess, uh, Guten Nacht? That's right. We'll be showing up in uh, late at night. It's been interesting mm -hmm. having a sleep schedule that uh, I wasn't gonna, we're gonna be used to a company hanging out with you guys. Mm hmm. I never thought I was a third shift kind of guy. Is it working out for you, Ryan? Ah, sorta. It's fine. All right. Well, if you require anything, of course, let me know. Oh, sure. Mm hmm. I don't suppose the great Lord Cockroach knows where Marie is? Uh, I can ask him. Please do. All right. I'll take care of that. I'll go in some commune with great Lord Cockroach. If we're, uh... Yes? Uh, meeting up and, uh, if we're heading out in two days, I can see what I can find out. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Other than that, I believe that means that our time is our own. Uh, you are welcome to a room here. And you are also welcome to use the equipment. Um, Candy will probably be able to provide you with the papers that you need. And uh, otherwise, uh, please feed lightly on the staff. Very well. Um, very well. I'll get to work right away. Excellent. Okay. I just plug my computer and set it up on the a desk somewhere. Yep. <laughs> um, so By the way, the office has like... a desk and a bed and a cabinet. The bed has silken sheets and the cabinet is locked. Got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, what would I need to find this person? <laughs> Oh boy! Is there even a chance of me doing so? Uh, just on a direct computer search, you might be able to find something. Um, well, not, I, obviously, obviously, I imagine I'm gonna have to do a tiny bit of hacking. Yeah. Um. I do have points in security for that reason. Yeah. Roll. I think for right now, roll me. Uh, computer intelligence. Let's just start with a difficulty 8 check. It's a general difficulty 8, so it's a pretty difficult check, which is just going to be finding some information out in general. We'll start with. Let's check something. Um, so I have something, I have something called a computer, I picked up a merit called computer aptitude. Mm-hmm. And it says all roles involved in computers are at a minus two difficulty. Okay, then difficulty six for you. Nice. Okay. Um, intelligence? Yep, computer intelligence, we'll say. And this will take you a while for this first check here. Oh, of course. I figure... All right, um... Successes. You're going to spend a couple more hours here, uh, kind of at the place you're, like, just sitting there working at it, and kind of diving into information about someone named Marie. Um, you didn't have a lot to work out with, only that she was German, and that the others told you she was a member of the SS, which is unusual because there wasn't a lot of women that would have been in that. Um, now granted, like, facts like she was a vampire hunter, probably not going to find out stuff on that. But you do manage to find information about about a female SS officer named Marie. Um, you don't find any pictures. You find a little bit of information about some places that, uh, like some paperwork that exists back from that time on her. Um, according to the information that you found, of course, she passed away in the line of duty uh, under unknown circumstances. Um... So where did she... So do I get a, like, a town, at least, of where she used to live, at least? Um, yes. She came from Berlin. Okay. At least that's where so she was at least little... born from. Whether or not that's where she lived, more... but yes. Um, yeah. 
I, I don't, and it doesn't, and that mean not, not mean she lives there now, but you uh, know, if you're going to track someone, you start from where you can. <laughs> like if you, as you dive deeper into a little bit into it, you can find out that um, she was part of the SS that was dealing with um, when Hitler was looking into supernatural stuff. You know, that that that's yeah. You know, she was assigned to that group. That doesn't again. That's something that's like doesn't oh, scream oh, a lot. Oh, okay. She she's she she's old. Okay, that that old. Okay. Yes. Um. But again, like um. Uh, after that, information dries up on her, but in like the easy to find records. Yes. Uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, why don't we take our break here before we look into it anymore because it is th uh, our first hour uh, we can take our quick break uh, use the bathroom if anybody needs to drink, snack, anything like that and we can dive back in and kind of uh, cont get into our uh, our latest globe trekking journey to Germany apparently <laughs> yay Yay. Oh my god, I just realized yeah. we probably did I update something here? No, I didn't. We're saying it says Sunday's the tabletop for us. I hadn't updated oh. that. Oh, <laughs> I should. Uh, yeah. We're uh, simulating tabletop right now. Let's quickly just change yeah. something here. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it on break. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oops. We'll yep. see you in a few you minutes. Don't have roll you also don't have rolls up. Yeah, that's true. That's also true. Man, it's just one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> He's just out of the practice, out of the habit. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so be back in a little bit, uh, and everything should be working properly then. So see you in a second, folks. Bye. <laughs>